What's going on, Fortnite fans? My name is Clumsy No Name, and in this video, I'm going to be dropping into Breakwater Bay 20 times. If you aren't aware, Fortnite recently went into Chapter 4, so I was like, this place looks pretty cool. I'll drop here 20 times. Shout out to Luke the Notable. But yeah, this was like my third game on, and I had literally zero idea what was happening, so I ended up dying. Shout out to this guy. I just wanted to ride a motorbike. Game 2 ended up going a little bit better because I ended up killing this guy and not dying myself. I then ended up finding this hammer, and let let me just say this will definitely not be the last time you see this. I use it almost every single game that I find it. Something new that they've added this chapter is claiming a location, but it takes like a minute to happen. So something to do while passing the time is just farm mats that are slightly outside of the circle, but you can still reach them to hit them. It's pretty effective instead of just sitting there doing nothing. And when you do claim the location, then it gives you some pretty good loot. This time I got a Blue Maven shotgun, and I prefer that over the Thunder personally. Something else it does is mark all of the chests in that location, and if there's an enemy it marks that, but we'll get to that later. But while I was opening this chest, I got a new perk, which is actually something new they've added this season. Technically they're augments, but still. This one gave me a combat shotgun and a tactical AR, which I didn't even take either one of them, I just selected it so that way I had the perk unlocked. Anyway, I used a dirt bike to get to Circle and ended up fighting this guy and killed him because I am an epic gamer. Sadly, somebody else heard the commotion and then they decided to kill me. Game 3 is actually where I discovered my favorite place to land, which is on this white oath-bound chest, and it spawns every single game. The reason why I love it so much is there is a guaranteed hammer or Excalibur rifle out of it. And if you wonder why I love the hammer so much, this is why it is so much fun. Anyway, after that I went to go claim the location, but this guy decided to fight me, but I killed him, but only had 1 HP, so shout out to me. I'm not going to talk about the perks every single game, but I will talk about the ones that I do like. This one I love, and it's every time that you open any container, there is a chance that you will get one Chug Splash, which is pretty good because I normally carry Chug Splashes. And if you are curious about my ideal loadout, this is it right here. A scar, a maven shotgun, a hammer, chug splashes, and minis. Anyway, I feel like that's enough beating around the bush. I died. This game I found a legendary Excalibur rifle, and honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I can see why somebody would like it. So there's an area south of Breakwater Bay and just west of the Citadel that has a bunch of rocks. I come here a lot just to get stoned. I mean, stoned. St uh... I get brick. I then found this watchtower and decided, hey, what if I pull a sneaky and hide in the roof of it? And that ended up paying off because eventually this person started to loot underneath of me and I just jumped down on his forehead and shotgunned him and shot him and I, he died. I made it to endgame that match, but then ended up getting shot down to 9 HP. Don't worry, I ended up sneaking behind this guy who I think was AFK for some reason and shotgunned him and he had a shield keg going, so that worked out well for me. Let me talk about the other thing I like about the hammers is you can use them as mobility. There are limited uses, except eventually they do recharge, so thank you Fortnite, very cool. Anyway, still on 9 HP plus some shield, I brought it down to a 1v1. And I found the last guy and jumped on top of his head with the hammer and slammed him with it and actually ended up winning that way. That might be one of the coolest wins I've ever gotten in Fortnite ever. I guess I haven't really talked about motorbikes that much, but they're pretty cool. I actually really like them. I think backing up is pretty slow, but other than that, I love them. I mainly just brought that up because besides that, I died in this game. Anyway, if you've seen my videos before, then you know it wouldn't be a clumsy no-name video without a kill montage, so here we go. I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that Fortnite reset skill-based matchmaking at the beginning of the season because I was getting a lot of bots. Like, here's another one here. Why? I mean, I guess I'm not complaining because, I mean, they aren't sweats at least. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would rather fight bots than Booga, but, you know, maybe that's just me. Also, I lived with this fight with 2 HP. I then was just running around looting whenever I got shot twice in the back of the head. That was a pretty fair fight, if you ask me. Game number 8, I unlocked Doomslayer, but sadly only found these bots instead of demons. But the way that Luke the Notable talks about them, maybe they're his demons. Here's another tip for all of my build motors out there. If you break these sides of the castle, they actually give you a pretty decent amount of brick for the amount that you're hitting, so go for it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I feel my leg. 
Anyway, I'm not sure why, but my audio is actually out of sync this game, so you can actually hear me die before I actually do, but, you know, I did die. Game 9 is actually the worst game out of all of these 20 drops, but don't worry, there are two more that are kinda close to it. And here are some footage of me killing Booga. I've always liked pistols in Fortnite, but if you haven't really liked pistols that much, then I recommend at least trying them out this season because they are just so much better this season. They are lit. Yes, I did just use the word lit in 2022, but I did just kill Tensor's girlfriend. My therapist told me I need to stop living in the past. I need to move on from 2019. Quick depression tip. You can't have depression if you are dead. For legal reasons, that is a joke. If you are suicidal, please contact the suicide hotline. I know that I said I'm not the biggest fan of the Excalibur rifle, except it is still fun to use on bots occasionally, I'm not gonna lie. While grabbing a bounty, I actually got another perk, and this one marks an enemy every single time that the storm changes, so that is a great perk, I love it. And later on, I actually got another perk that shows you where the next storm circle will be, which is another great perk, I love it. If you want me to be honest, one of the things I don't really like about this season are the perks, but that's just because they can be kind of overpowered, except at the same time, everyone can have them. So are they really overpowered? If you want me to be honest, I'm just kind of happy that they aren't pay-to-win perks and they aren't, like, hidden in the battle pass or anything. Please don't make me regret saying that, Fortnite. Eventually, I found myself in the final three, and then I found myself in an early grave. Game 12 actually tried out a new landing spot on the east side of Breakwater Bay, and you know, it's not a horrible place to land if you don't have anywhere else. Eventually I went to go claim the location, but this guy said no, but then I said yes. Later on I actually ended up finding a llama, which I haven't actually opened one of those in a while because I've been playing no build and I there's no point to get him in no build in my opinion. I mean of course there's a chug cannon, but I mean honestly that's not worth giving away my location to get, but I mean if you throw in some extra mats, now it is. Eventually I found myself in the final three, and then I found myself in an early grave. Yes, I'm aware that last line was reused from earlier in the video, but quite frankly, I don't care because, you know, I'm the one making it. For some reason, while Storm was moving in, this guy decided to drive towards me. I don't know why. Eventually, I just hammered away. It literally was not worth the fight. And after that, I found my way into the top five and then killed this person to make it into the top four. Towards the end of this game, it was getting close, but then somebody died to Storm and then I just shot this guy and then, you know, I ended up winning, actually. Not entirely sure how. Game 14, I was a naked banana, and apparently this person didn't like that, which is fair enough, this is a children's game. Completely random note here, but while on Spawn Island, I built over to this random other island, so that happened, I guess. You know, maybe in one of my upcoming 100 drops, I'll try this thing out more, because it's kind of growing on me every single time that I use it. I know this is just a bot, but the game must have glitched out or something, because I hit it for 150 white. I don't think that's possible. I'm pretty sure you only have 100 white. Drinking a beer in my blue jean tractor. On a real note, I would feel bad about third partying this fight, but in my defense, they were wearing a superhero skin and they deserved it. Later on, this game was getting pretty intense. We were in the moving zones and still had four people. I mean, three people. Eventually, I ran out of mats and this guy was actually standing behind me. I don't know why they didn't shoot, but I killed them. The other guy was just hanging out in Storm way too long and then built a bummy, but I shot them down and killed them for the win. You know, maybe I'm not half bad at this game. And game 16 was one of those horrible games that I was talking about earlier, but that's fair enough. I don't need to win every single game. Game 17, I dropped in as Potassius Peels. I don't know, it just felt kind of right, because this season's kind of medieval theme. I will say that's one of the things I don't like about this season either, is I don't really know what the theme is. I think it's medieval themed, but I'm not entirely sure. And if it is medieval themed, why is it medieval themed? A better question is, why do I keep saying the word medieval so much? Speaking of that, why is medieval called medieval? What is medieval? Like, why is that old? I don't know. Maybe if I paid attention more in school, I'd know. And I also probably wouldn't have to play as much Fortnite. So two bots walk into a bar, and they said, Ow! <laughs> and game 19 is the other other game that I said I did horrible in. And you know, I say that 86th place is pretty bad, but maybe that's just me. I will say that I have no idea how I died here because apparently I died to that guy with the hammer over there, but I don't think he was anywhere near me. And here we are, game 20. I know a lot of you are tired of the 20 drops and just want a 100 drops, but I promise they're coming. I have two in production. I probably shouldn't have killed this guy, but I'm simply just better. Sorry, DJ Julian. He'd be in his grave, call that beatboxing. Ha! <laughs> 
get it because a grave is kind of like a box. I, I don't know. Anyways, you'll probably notice this video is almost over now. So I just want to take this time to say that I really have been enjoying this new season. It's literally the most fun I've had playing this game since like chapter two, season two. I'm loving it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Use code clumsy no name in the Fortnite item shop. Peace out.